All right, folks. All right, all right, all right. Well, my next guest, she's charming, man. She's, she's captivating. Put your hands together and show some love for the charming. Kafui, thank you. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Fantastic. We're going to take a commercial break when we come back. She's in the house. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Oluman Bugi will be right back. The KSM Show. It's a pleasure, it's a pleasure to see you. I can't blame them. I'm happy. It's a really humbling experience. Yes, good to see you, man. Good to see so you, 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 you've done quite a few movies, but before then, you did some stint with the UN. Oh yeah, I had my national service with the UNHCR. Okay. I was a verification assistant. It was quite an experience. How did you move from there? into movies. What was your first movie experience? My very first movie experience was, uh, was Agony of the Christ. That was by Venus oh. Films. I played only one scene. Agony of the... I appeared and then disappeared. And disappeared. That was the end of my character. <laughs> <laughs> but it was so... It was, it was interesting. You auditioned? Yeah, I, I did. I auditioned. I, I, I attended a lot of auditions. When did you... What, what, what was the movie that you did that you got all the attention. People started paying attention to Kafui. Pop Play Reloaded and then Let Us Know. Those two movies. Mm, yeah. Mm. And you've been busy since? Oh, yeah. And then after that, it went on. And then after that, we had Let Us Know. Mother, Devil in a Dress, um, announcements. I can, I've lost count. Mm. Like, I mean, of course, the ones that I've produced are not that many. So, okay. I remember. You studied English University, though. Oh, yeah. That was your. Classes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Were you always interested in acting? Back in school, in JSS and SSS. I belonged to drama troupe. It was like acting and drumming and all kinds of things. So I was interested. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was lost at a point. I mean, I thought about journalism at a point. I thought about other things. But at the end of the day, I believe this is my calling because my passion is when, when, when did that decision come? Right after school, after my national service with the UNHCR, I started acting. Mm -hmm. And you were schooling before uh, Cape Coast? Yeah. Yes, I was in the University of Cape Coast. Uh, I did... Uh, but when I was in school, I did a couple of adverts. I, it wasn't a film or anything like that. It was just, that was my first intro to TV. Advert. I think I did an advert for Amal Bank. I think they are now Bank of Africa. Also. Mm. I'm not sure. And then uh, for Angel Cream. That oh, got really? Me, yes, a lot of people knew about the Angel Cream <laughs> adverts, yes. And then uh, a couple of ads. I can't remember some of them. <laughs> so, so you finally decided it was going to be acting. And you mm -hmm. went ahead and you set up your own production company? Yes. Really? Uh, yes. Uh, I'm a very passionate filmmaker. I think that's why I had to just open my own production and then introduce uh, more things, not just film, maybe short films, TV. I have a lot of I have dreams, especially for this year, that I, I, I'm sure would come to pass. Mm. Mm -hmm. What are your dreams? Oh, I want to, uh, apart from films, we, I want to do TV. We have TV that we, so far we've not done any yet. We have some, a lot of things lined up and all that. And so a lot more. I hate to talk about it and then not do it. Maybe my fans will be expecting me to. <laughs> so then just, when you're ready, we're going to. So you want to do it, not talk about it. Yes, yeah. not that much though. I just let them know that okay, there's something coming, something mm -hmm. in the pipeline. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which has been the toughest or the most you've really enjoyed playing, in terms of characters? I would say Happy Death Day movie. Happy Death Day. It got a lot of. We got some really interesting reviews. I got it. People were really getting personal with the, the comments and everything. I mean, it was, it was, it's fiction. But then they, they really took felt it, it they, Exactly. They put it personal. They were really into them. People were giving me phone calls. Are you guys? Maybe in the middle of watching the movie, they call it. Oh, so what happened? I can't, I can't stand this. Oh, we, really? Yeah, we got some really nice reviews. Wow. Yeah, some really, really good reviews. Well, it was, so, it was so much suspense. They e the suspense, exactly. The suspense is what kept people on their toes. In the cinemas, the responses and everything. So I would say it's been the most um i don't even know what to, how to describe it but it's been the movie with the most reviews the most personal mm. reviews mm. yes mm. happy death mm. day was it the biggest it, which, have you oh the biggest is i do okay i do was um ghana's biggest movie just before amachi and Eddie came to knock us out <laughs> we were leaving. Oh, so it was ready before amachi and <laughs> oh Eddie yes we yeah were, yes <laughs> we were um we were the boss we were the cinema boss at the time it was the most attended it was the highest grossing ever in silverbed I do really? was big, yes. I do put a lot of crowd. Which do you have a favorite director? Um, 
you put me in trouble. <laughs> Next question. I call Kobe director one and I call Pascal Amafo director one. They are awesome. They're good. So far, I've worked with uh, Kobe, I've worked with uh, Pascal Amafo so many times. I've worked with Shelly. I've worked with Frank Raja. They're awesome. I have a lot of, they're all good. And you, do you, do you want to be in a, in a seat where you're directing or acting or you want to do both? Do you have a love for one more, love for one than the other? It would be nice. But I believe in professionalism. I wouldn't push it when I can't direct. Maybe when I have some time on my hands to be able to learn directing or any other thing, fine, I can do it. In the local scene, who is your favorite actress? When I started, I used to admire Jacapia a lot because I see a lot of her movies. Mm. And then when I became uh, an actor, when, when I like, really worked with a lot of them, I got to love more of them the mm. more. I've got mm. to see how talented, how friendly, how special, how sweet they are. So now it's difficult to have a favorite. Mm. You know, I, Your favorites. <laughs> yeah, favorites, exactly. Mm. That's the right mm. word, our favorites. Mm. Mm. What about the external? Foreign, do you have any? Sorry, yeah, I do. I watch a lot of... Um, Angela Jolie's movies. Mm. I watch a lot of uh, uh, this act, uh, Halle Berry's movies. Mm -hmm. I watch exactly. Mm -hmm. So there are some I would say I have when I see them on the cover. I go, like, okay, I want to watch. Now it's Tara G P N C. I see a lot of movies. I go, okay, yeah. let me watch. Yeah. And I think the love I developed some kind of love for it from Empire because I I follow Empire a lot. Has any movie hit you so hard that you can never forget? Yeah, that there was are, an experience. Yes, there are two movies so far I can watch again and again and again. Uh, the Da Vinci Code mm. and The Devil's Advocate. Mm. These movies I watched more than once to understand them. And then I love, I think they carry a very strong message. Message still, I, I believe I still haven't decoded it completely. I think I just passionately... So you keep watching, trying oh, to yes, decode? I love, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I love The Da Vinci Code and I love the... The devil's the advocate. advocate. Yes, I yeah. believe he has. And now, even from there, I, I try to watch um, uh, anything with Keanu Reeves in it. And then uh, also, I, I and uh, Tom Hanks. That's great, man. Show us some love, man. Show us some love. Some love. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> I, I discovered, uh, maybe I'm late on the news, you know, but I, I didn't cover too long ago that you, you met your lovely husband. Mm -hmm. He's from Canada. Oh, yeah. But he lives in Ghana. He's been in Ghana for some time. He's oh, Ghanaian. Right. I actually call him Ghanaian. Oh, really? And he loves that, yes. He loves that? Yeah. <laughs> he's like, oh, yes, I'm Ghanaian. He loves that. I mean... Yeah. Where like, did you... Were you met on the, on the plane? No, but I, people get always, like, um, misquoted. I said we met a series of events got us together. Uh -huh. We met not just once, because we met at a conference, we met on a plane, and we met at an event, and another conference. So I keep saying that, but I wish people would just quote what I uh, say. But they go, like, we uh, met on a plane. It wasn't just <laughs> <laughs> That's what I read. You know, exactly. I was like, I, I sitting next I to you that. and... Um, mm. yeah, so a that. series of things. A series of events, mm. yeah. So what, what, what lit the flame? Oh, he's a perfect gentleman. Really? Very kind, very quiet, very understanding. I think that's what it is. He has a lot of patience. It's something I admire about him. He's very patient. I've never seen a man as patient as him before. Really? Oh, yes. He's very what, 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 what would he do, for example? He said, when something happens... You can't undo a lot of things. There are a lot of things you cannot undo. Mm. So you look for the way forward. Mm. You, you learn, okay, okay, now how am I going to fix this? Or what next? Or what? And then he says, you live and learn. He says that a lot. So something you expect to upset him. Doesn't. That doesn't upset him. No. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. He has a very, oh, he has a very big heart. So he, he pays that. He is so accommodative. I think that's what it is. When are you and he believes people will always be people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to have you both of you on. Oh, okay. Um, oh. He's very busy right now. Maybe when he has some time on his own. I know. What does I'll he do? Uh, he works for Geotech. Okay. He has a company called Geotech. They, they fly surveys for mining companies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he's more into solid minerals and all those. Mm. I, I, don't even, I can't even figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, any, any, you have, you have a baby, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. We have a, I have a new baby, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Lord. Her name is Lord. Lord. Baby Lord. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She was born late last year, and she's made things more beautiful. Mm -hmm. yeah. Being in the, in, the, in the spotlight, and you are, you know, there's a lot of, uh, Kafui Danko, Kafui. <laughs> what, what, what has come out that really rubbed you off the bad way? 
So far, I have uh, learned that maybe selling things come with a job initially when I started. Mm. And people would put things in some comments. Uh, I, I didn't under, quite understand it. Mm. But with time, I've been around quite a while. I, I think this is my seventh or eighth year in acting. Mm -hmm. So I've come to learn that people will always express their views and their mm. opinions sometimes you can't challenge. Mm. So, and we're different. The way I see something, somebody else may not see. Yeah. So yeah. nothing so far. Okay. Rather, I think uh, something has really touched me or has really given me um, more room to touch to people's lives, sort of, or maybe kind of encourage them. Recently, I posted a picture of my pregnancy and it went for people were having issues, why you should post pregnancy pictures, da, 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 da. And then uh, what it brought, uh, even when I talk about it, I, something I get emotional. A day, I have like, in a day, I can receive like 50 emails or messages in total, both on my email, social media, Facebook, Twitter, about women. I mean, some, I, men were writing to me telling me how brave I am to talk about such, something like that because mm. I had to wait for a while before having my baby. Mm. I had troubles in here and there mm. and then I talked mm. about them. Mm. So I think uh, th that is what on social media that really got me, um, it gets me emotional sometimes because I want to believe that people now started sharing their problems. I am Dr. So-so and so-so, I'm Dr. Mrs. So-so and so, I've been married for this number of years, but your whatever just changed me, your, your mm. story now mm. made me the, mm. I lost a child, your story, because mm. I realized you lost three pregnancies, your, your story now has changed me, I'm not going to mm. be upset again about anything. I'm wow. Gonna move. Yes. So it inspired it's, people. Exactly. What was so the story? It. Uh, I, I said, I, I mean, I lost three pregnancies. I had one stillbirth and then before having my baby. So I talked about it and then people. And I've come to realize that a lot of people, it's this, we, we say the society, but we are the society. I think we need to support people. We shouldn't be judging maybe married couples that are not having babies or uh, maybe married couples that have lost children or they're having trouble and all that. We shouldn't be judging. We should rather support them. That's, yeah, shock a lot. Yeah, shock a lot. Shock a lot. So what was that particular thing that inspired you? Like, let me put this out there. I had very comfortable time while I was waiting for my baby. Mm -hmm. I think my husband has been supportive, my mom, my sisters, my... And then again, I had friends who mm -hmm. maybe had one child and I have this friend who came to visit me, another friend who has a child and then couldn't get pregnant again. Mm -hmm. she, her marriage has been like over 10 years. She had the child, the child is like almost nine years or mm. something like that. And then she never had a child. And then she was talk, telling, sharing her story with me. And then again, growing up, I lived in a society where I saw people judge mm -hmm. people that couldn't mm -hmm. have babies. Mm -hmm. So even the pictures were going to be posted like that. I'm like, no, just I told my team to hold on and that I want to share the story. Just because somebody else is being misunderstood somewhere, just because she can't have a baby, mm -hmm. somebody else is being uh tortured somewhere yeah. being yeah but it, as i want to put it out there for people to know maybe there is a family who is maybe blaming mm. somebody for but mm. now maybe seeing my mm. story we're like oh okay maybe okay. it's not it all happens. what we think happens yeah. fantastic yeah. that's yeah. A, and then yeah it's just a lot of and, then, <laughs> and the reason i'm sort of impressed is because um on our side of the world we don't do that these things are yeah. a family secret mm. though but why are you quote unquote, your dirty, dirty, exactly. dirty linen. But this is no, not. No, this is not dirty this linen. This is experience, yeah. life experience. A lot of people are sick and they are lying in bed yeah. and their legs are broken and we think it's okay. Somebody is sick. Maybe there's something wrong with her womb or maybe, mm -hmm. the, and then we think there's nothing, it's, it's, it's odd. It's not. And then we also think um, people, I don't know how to say this. It, it's, it's normal. I should just, yeah, I should just say it's normal. People shouldn't be judging people. Yeah. Just a lie, man. Just a lie. <laughs> and and it's, it's true. Sometimes I think it's part of, uh, it's our society, it's our culture. It's, it's terrible. That, yeah, and then again, ahead. I'm not cutting you. Let me no, see, before I forget. <laughs> I have to say this. Because people go like, oh, you have to give birth. And then you give birth and you go like, oh, when is the next one coming? Yeah. But yeah. also from, uh, I've grown up in a, I grew up, I do a lot of my growing up in home. I've come to realize not everybody will have certain things. Some t like, for instance, I prayed for a child or I wished for a child earlier than yeah. I had a child. Yeah. In the same way, maybe somebody wants a car. Mm -hmm. They may not even get to even drive before they die. Mm. Somebody mm. wants a child. They may not even have a child maybe before they die. Mm. So certain things are not for us to decide. Mm. Yeah, people should know that. Mm. So is childbirth in marriages. Mm. People should take note mm. and support people. <laughs> I am so elated, <laughs> especially, especially when, when, when 
is it the like we go for was it knocking or are doing an engagement? Oh yeah, my baby naming. Is it the, oh when no, they go for knocking? Oh, yes. As soon as the people are engaged and the pressure starts, yes. oh next year we'll be here to, to come for the outdooring, we'll be here to do the naming oh, and the pressure begins that minute. That minute, yeah. So they don't so, even get to enjoy the marriage, nothing. And in and in, 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 in the unfortunate event that it doesn't it's not the end it's of the, life. Well, exactly. That's why I said you that know? it should like people some people may not get certain things till they die. It's life. I have seen somebody that, that maybe back in my house, uh, my, my hometown hall, I know people who never had a child and they are now like 60 or 70. Because we believe that they may not even be able to have a child. So it means that certain things, like I said, may not, it's not for us to decide. To decide. Exactly. Yeah. And, and the last thing, you know, um, just to check your reaction because uh, um, your husband is uh, an older person. Yes, an older and person. And people were giving you bashing for that? Oh, hala. But the thing is, I'm happy you, you mentioned this. We've seen the young marriages. The yeah. young one, young man. Where are they? <laughs> We've seen them. We've seen a lot of the young marriages. Yeah, yeah. We've been together for seven years now. And we're still counting. Wow. We've seen the young marriages that lasted six months. We've yeah. seen the sweet women. It's not about young or old. Because I think a lot of people discriminate. When it's about black or white, you say, oh, I'm being discriminated against. The person is racist. Da, 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 da. Here you are discriminated against an older person. Yeah. Because I'm older, I don't have love. Does it mean I'm older so I can't? It's discrimination, people. Learn not to discriminate. It's about choices. I'm an adult. Just like if I were a kid, someone is okay, fine, I'm being whatever. But I am an adult and I made a choice. Mm -hmm. If the same way somebody is not happy with my choice, maybe I'm also not happy with somebody else's choice. Mm -hmm. But it's not my business. <laughs> with, the males, with, the, with the males or the mm -hmm. men that were bashing you, uh -huh. the young men that were bashing exactly. you, they were jealous. I, I believe. Oh, I think so. Exactly. No, <laughs> some of them are, are bold enough to tell me. Some of them can even send me messages in my inbox. And go like, Charlie, Papa, we want higher power. So it's, it's not about, maybe even based, maybe the age, maybe that's why he's more patient. Maybe that's why he's yeah, yeah. very caring. That's yeah. why he's, oh. He's seen it all. Sometimes I think this man wake up from the honeymoon. It's time. But then he well, doesn't wake up. He's, yeah, exactly. He's, I think he's, that's just him. Yeah. Yes, and it made everything so beautiful and easy, <laughs> and it made marriage like really sweet, like candy. Yeah. Share it, love it. No, no, no. We we I, we've learned a lot from you today, you oh, know. Thank you. And I, and I'm happy you have that positive energy. Oh yeah. Because that's what you need to succeed in this life, exactly. and nothing else. Exactly. That is the why I, I don't I can't stand negativity when yes. people just come on yeah. social media to bash you for one thing you've done wrong, or they may yeah. think you've done. Wrong. What about the other good things you've done? Yeah. Nobody even commended you on anything, mm. or those same people did not see that you even commend you. But when the bad ones or the ones they yeah. think is bad, they'll yeah. just so come so and bash. They, yeah. That's yeah. not cool, people. Yeah. Yeah, it, that's yeah. not cool at all. But I'm happy so far that I have this kind of uh, positive mindset. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm not bothered too much about what people say. Mm, it's your opinion. You don't know about mine. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> Show some love, man. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for joining. Anything thank coming up that we should know of? Uh, uh, yes, I. Um, I have a project coming up this year, a movie actually. Okay. And I will say thank you to our fans so far for supporting. Uh, I love you, but. Their responses were awesome, but that we're coming up with a movie called Drive. 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 Okay. So people should look out for Drive. Okay. You can also um, sign up onto my mailing list on my website, www.kafridanku.me, to, to be updated on whatever is coming up. Okay. Yes. Great. And s since you're working, you know, if, if you ever come up with a very creative, crazy character in their 60s, you can call me. That is great having you Thank and uh, you keep yourself. up doing the good work. Thank you. Keep that positive energy up, man. Thank you. Because this is the light that will shine for people to see. Amen. Is that energy? Amen. All right. <laughs> Kaffee, Kaffee. Here we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Take a lot of holes and we'll be right back. Don't move. Don't blink. Don't breathe. The KSM Show will be right back. The KSM Show.